Good evening, everyone. A uh, very warm welcome and uh, thank you for joining this call. Um, I'm sure you had a chance to go through our investor presentation and uh, my letter to shareholders, which are very detailed. Um, let us straight away get into Q&A and um, me and the management team will be happy to uh, get into more uh, details um, in, in the call. Yeah, Vithu? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, Nirav, let's start the Q&A. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and 2. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Participants, you may press star and 1 to ask a question. The first question is from the line of Balaji Subramaniam from IIFL. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, thanks for taking my question. Balaji, sorry, you're sounding a little soft. Can you please talk louder? Uh, hi, thanks for uh, taking my question. Hopefully, I am uh, uh, audible now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, firstly, on the uh, on the, uh, we have disclosed the. Uh, ILD and the NLD uh, SMS revenue contribution approximately, which is 50% and 25% and 50% respectively. And you have mentioned that uh, ILD has been facing softness. Uh, so, you know, just wanted to understand on an organic basis uh, what would be the uh, NLD business uh, uh, be growing at? Would it be growing in uh, double digits, high single digits, mid teens? Uh, you know, what, what, what is the approximate number? Uh, which the NLD business is growing at. That is number one. The related question is on the ILD front. Uh, you have mentioned that, uh, uh, you know, uh, the worst is behind and uh, it should no longer decline, uh, even though the growth may be a little sluggish going forward. So what gives you the confidence that uh, we have seen the uh, bottom of the ILD revenue? So that would be my quest uh, two questions. I want to so, you know, we, uh, we've been talking about a fact that, you know, we saw some amount of momentum that we expected in Q3 on the domestic business. I, uh, I would say, in fact, you know, we had covered it as part of our uh, call also last time. I would say that we kind of showed a growth in the mid single digits on a sequential basis in uh, Q3, this week too. So, there was good growth as far as the domestic is concerned. Right. On IMD, uh, you know, I will ask Deepak to chime in. I will ask Deepak to chime in more from a perspective of the market environment, both in ILD and uh, uh, domestic. But like Uday had written in his letter also, right, there was a shift in certain use cases for some tech measures onto OTT channels, which caused a big impact from October. Now, we kind of don't see further shifts at this stage, which is why we are pretty confident that it has kind of come down. But we do see the growth in this space to be a little sluggish. Uh, Deepak, can you chip in? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, hi, Balaji Deepak here. Uh, so, as as Arvin mentioned, uh, you know, uh, see, first of all, as far as ILD business is concerned and ILD pricing is concerned, we all know that, uh, you know, the, the price for ILD is almost 40, 50 X as compared to domestic price. Uh, I mean, uh, the, it's, it's around 4 to 5 rupees compared to 10 or 12 pesa uh, domestic uh, message. So it is always, uh, you know, uh, there's a pressure from the customers and they don't want to pay that kind of money and they, they keep looking for alternate uh, channels and alternate mechanisms to see how they can save their cost or uh, how they can optimize their uh, volumes, okay, uh, you know, by not sending uh, so many messages, you know, just to save the cost, you know. So this is a continuous exercise from the customer side and uh, last quarter we saw that uh, even uh, you know some of the uh, these values moved to whatsapp uh, you know if, i don't know how many of you use uh, microsoft you know but if you see microsoft messages are coming from whatsapp rather than coming from ild now so uh, that has actually uh, dented uh, the overall uh, you know uh, business to a certain extent uh, but as arvin said that you know that is the bottom you know we already touched the bottom 
now going forward basis why we don't see uh, that will not go further down is one one of one of the reason is that even uh, uh whatsapp is uh, you know is, is kind of uh, uh you know but they, they are they are going to you know uh, from march onwards or maybe april onwards they are going to you know increase the prices or they are going to completely stop uh, you know supporting ild messages on whatsapp so that could be one uh, you know uh, one driver where we would see that you know the some volumes can come back uh, but overall uh, i mean uh, the major customers are i hope you all know there is amazon there is snapchat uh, chat there is microsoft uh, and uh, you know few others which are the you know these are large ones and uh, these are the guys who always uh, you know they are sending message only when it's absolutely necessary uh and uh, that's why arvin said that you know the growth is going to be a bit sluggish as far as volumes are concerned uh, okay thanks for the elaborate answer i just had a, a couple of quick follow ups so uh, i know a couple of years back uh, the narrative used to be that uh, uh, a to b messages uh, are likely to uh, grow in uh, mid teens uh, not just in terms of volume but also in terms of numbers uh with all these uh, developments you know uh, what do you think is uh, closer to the steady state growth for uh, your enterprise business i get platforms are completely different cup of tea and you know their uh, growth is uh, fairly robust so that would be the first follow up and the second follow up is with you know, the ild contribution coming off uh, you know what uh, will be the uh, typical uh, gross margin impact will it be Uh, significantly diluted considering that we did see uh, pretty uh, healthy realizations there okay so uh, uh, first of all about the industry growth and about the volumes growth okay so uh, what i spoke about is was uh, you know uh, specifically to ild uh, volume and if you see though ild you know it it is about 25% of our overall revenues but in terms of volumes the volumes are very very uh, small you know compared to uh, our overall uh, volumes right because uh, you know ild revenues are high because of the the price points are very very high so if you look at our uh, you know domestic uh, market you know it is growing very well uh, all right i mean uh, this lot of new use cases are coming up uh, market is growing it is in uh, you know uh, it's in double digit for sure and uh, and the good part is that now uh, customers are adopting uh, you know alternate channels so the dependency is not on just on sms now you know uh, so now you know uh, ott is the uh, you know is the play where we are seeing lot of uh, you know traction on whatsapp we are seeing lot of traction on rcs which is a uh, google's uh, you know owned uh, channel uh, we are seeing uh, traction on uh, true caller so uh, so these channels are, you know uh, what we are, they are growing very well and with that the use number of use cases are growing and overall uh, number of uh, you know messages are growing so overall growth in uh, you know in india is is, is pretty good okay, and that final question on uh, gross margin impact so i i will take that debug it uh, so balaji i you know while the realizations are higher the cost is also higher so it's not that the margin profile of ild is significantly better in fact i would say it's probably lower absolute terms may you know per message you may make more money but as a percentage it is lower than what you make in domestic right is a classic uh, concept of the kind of uh, construct right? so higher realization but higher cost so percentages are actually not uh okay so you will not see a percentage dilution because of the softness in angle okay thank you that is uh, super clear uh, and all the best thank you next question is from kind of amit chandra from hdfc securities please go ahead yes sir thanks for the opportunity so my question is uh, firstly on the ild part of the revenue so you mentioned that the worst is behind for ild but uh, seeing the kind of cost cutting initiatives these larger majors are taking in terms of finding alternatives do you see the shift uh, uh, to other channels uh, to continue uh, in ild and also uh, you know in terms of the uh, you know volume breakup so the transactional messages which are uh, you know 
the compliance links so that can remain on the uh, you know normal channel but the promotional part of the id messages can actually move to uh, rcs whatsapp so that uh, how do you see that evolving and also from the nld aspect uh, do you think that with the you know rising uh, popularity of rcs you think the you know the promotional messages uh, of uh, nld can actually shift to rcs which is uh, you know much effective uh, like word of communication and uh, although the like relations are higher but the impact is also higher in terms of the promotional messages in in nld uh hi amit uh, so first of all about uh, you asked about uh, you know promotional messages on ild uh, you know going away so just to tell you that you know there is no nobody does any promotions uh, on ild for past many quarters now you know it, I, i think it used to happen about four or five years back but when the prices have gone up it uh, you know no customer sends any promotional messages on ild i mean barring could be very negligible i would say or maybe nothing right so it is uh, mostly otps you would see or you would see like i mean if you buy things from amazon you would see messages coming in like hey your parcel is out for delivery it is your pin uh, right so you get such kind of messages which are more uh, informative uh, in nature or a uh, transactional in nature so this is what they been sending uh, and then moving to other channels which i already answered that yes some part of uh, these messages did move to uh, you know let's say whatsapp and uh, uh, you know last quarter but going forward basis uh, you know as because we we keep talking to you know uh, meta and everybody even meta is planning to increase the prices and we don't see that to continue for a longer time you know so this is this is a update on ild but we will let you know as and when it happens uh, now to coming to on the domestic side and uh, you know the promo on rcs yes you are absolutely right rcs is a great channel uh, because it it uh, supports uh, rich media uh, compared to sms where where which is where you can send only a plain uh, text uh, message so when a promo message is being sent uh, you know obviously you know uh, when you sending a rcs message you can display your your uh, brand very well you can send uh, you know rich media message you can have a banner you can have you know uh, multiple banners in fact and all of that so uh, the roi is far far better uh, as compared to sms and uh, so uh, and uh, as i mentioned earlier we you know carrick uh, and talla combined today we are the uh, we are having the largest uh, share in the rcs market in india today that is upwards of 40% and uh, we we are onboarding lot of customers we are doing really very well in rcs we are seeing great success on rcs okay and uh, you know like moving on to the platform side of the business so uh, there we also we have seen some softness so there uh, the softness is largely linked to the uh, you know pi deal uh, going away or is there any some other reason uh, you know in the in the platform side of the business and also uh, you know we mentioned that we have closed some deals on on uh, the atp side so uh, how do we see that uh, how the commercials are looking there and is it uh, uh, you know like going to come in like one uh, from the like from the next quarter on this so if you look at it uh, amit from a platform business perspective we've grown 22% yoy and 24% yoy on gm right so if you look at a trend that has largely remained in line with our growth rate we see some impact in q3 on on the vi uh, more driven by the reduction in international messaging market that we talked about right and we expect to see the further impact in q4 on the vi contract exit but we have also kind of been growing in other platforms uh, quite aggressively right so you that's why you've kind of seen us maintain this 20% growth trajectory for more than 14 quarters now in a row by the atp we we announced that on 10th of jan in terms of uh, the first customer that we have signed a commercial contract with we expect that to go live in the current quarter we will start seeing the revenues uh, and obviously there is a pipeline that we are aggressively pursuing in terms of you know 
We know that the full impact of all of the customers that we are looking at onboarding may happen in Q1, but you will see some impact in Q4 also. Yes, to add to that, I mean, to the years, just to add to that slide, um, the beauty of this ATP is like um, it is more uh, offered on a subscription model, uh, meaning to say that um, the customers are paying um, per, per user per month. Okay, so they have to buy the subscription for their users. And uh, they have to pay every month. So the contract that we signed, they they, they bought a one year subscription. So so that's the beauty of this. Uh, this is a typical uh, SaaS uh, platform. Okay. So is it fair to assume so that the new deal on the ATP side can totally offset the VI impact, or is it uh, in terms of size going to replace uh, like what we have lost uh, on the VI side? So we're, we're not trying to compare these two in the sense like, you know, whatever we lost, we lost it uh, for good. That's what I strongly believe it like. But I'm not too worried about uh, 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 the VL going out. Uh, I'm sure we will fully record. Uh, 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 we fully record. In fact, we have not, uh, we lost uh, at least 30, 40 percent of the uh, traffic on the VL uh, uh, hub for the last, uh, uh, in, in Q3. And, uh, so, and it will continue for the next couple of more months. I mean, it will continue up to March, end of March. So, we don't see any um, um, effect of the VL on, on, on platform business uh, coming quarter. By the time, we should be able to close other platforms, uh, the, uh, the, mainly on uh, ATP, uh, should go live with even other customers. So, I'm not too worried about VL going out in terms of, it will not, it will not have any effect on our, on our platform. Okay. And sir, uh, no, last question on the, you uh, know, like WhatsApp revenue, like target that you have mentioned about, uh, you know, uh, you know, 100 crores uh, uh, per quarter. So what uh, is the run rate as of now and uh, by when we expect this to reach 200 crores? No, so, so, I mean, we have already reached 100 crores. That, that's the message, right? So we were gone exponentially on, on OTTs, which has been a big area of focus, right? So, we, we've crossed the 100 crore quarterly run rate mark in Q3. Okay. Okay, so great. Thank you, and all the best. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Deepak from Red Capital. Please go ahead. Thank you. Um, uh, good afternoon, uh, sir. Uh, I have three, four questions, so if you can kindly allow me, I'll be quick. Uh, first is on slide 36, uh, where we are talking of era three in Tanla's journey. Could you spend a minute or so and just explain us what, what are we trying to say here? Will it be largely driven by platforms? So, you know, it, it's, a, uh, it's an interesting question, right? So, if you look at it, you know, we, we've kind of captured our history in many ways, right? And we've talked about how we have built a platform business from scratch and how we have scaled our enterprise business. I think when it comes to era three, definitely the big trust is on platforms across the dimensions that we have talked about. While also scaling the enterprise business, we're not looking at either or, but there is a lot of innovation that we are doing that will come through from a platform side. Uh, OTT is another big area of uh, discussion point that we will see come, you know, we will come into our own in that aspect also. So there's a little bit of uh, structural investment that we have made, and I think that will come out in, in terms of Iraq area. You will get more details of it over the course of this quarter as, as we make announcements, right? So you've seen it in today's letter uh, on on our plan. So you know that is the direction we will see. Okay, uh, so I just want to uh, extend a bit, uh, Arvind. Uh, I, I believe it will be largely driven by the platform business, and given the current state of platform business, it's a, it's a run rate of 400, 500 crores per annum with a huge potential going ahead. You guys are investing a lot of CAPEX, a lot of platforms are in the pipeline, mm -hmm. and margins, fat margins around 50-60%, which is pretty chunky. With my past experience as a banker, I think 
maybe the management should think of how to unlock this platform business and create value. What I'm trying to say is that why not think in the direction of demerging the platform business and listing it separately? Because uh, the, the way I think is the enterprise business will continue to grow, but the growth in platform business and the kind of multiples you can get in the platform business will be far, far superior versus the enterprise business. And if I as an investor want to invest in platform business, just that platform business, unfortunately, I don't have that option. And I'm not, I, I, I again believe, you know, given the numbers of platform business, the kind of valuation which Tanla as a whole is getting, just the platform business can potentially achieve that. Deepak, Uday here. First let, us, first, let us build the business. Then we think about uh, the valuations, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, just, just Deepak, are you for, here? Yeah, I'm, I'm here, sir. Uh, just a point for the management to consider yeah, yeah. going forward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, let's 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 uh, we have we have we have we are putting all our energies to build the platform business. There is no doubt about that. Uh, we we are investing as you rightly said. You will see a lot of upside in the platform business going forward. So we we have we have all the energies. Uh, I mean, investing behind uh, building the business. Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, my question is on the time slide, which is slide number thirty-four. Uh, as I can see, the presently the TAM is around two to three billion dollars, which can more than double to five to six billion dollars by 27. So my question is: Is this largely back-ended, or will it be spread equally for the next three four years? And can then one imply that Tanla will also grow in the similar kind of fashion? So it's it's not back-ended. But obviously, there are new dimensions where the growth rates are going to be larger. Right? So if you look at it from a communicate standpoint, it will be much more even, right? But maybe from an experience point, it's a little more exponential, right? So so the different categories actually will grow differently, right? Within the bucket. So I, I think there are certain, you know, portions of the time which is more steady state, uh, the buck, and you will see us and uh, grow in, in that manner, right? But there are big bets that we are taking, and you will hear more about it, you know, as, as we detail it down, where the opportunity becomes larger, right? So that's how one should read this. So the opportunity, at least when we look at it in our uh, innovation hub, right? This is where we say we want to play. That's very clear. And we are also seeing how you want to, you know, innovate to capture this time. Uh, so that's how we are we are looking at it. This is the opportunity that is in front of us. So is it is it fair to say that we are becoming and the focus is more on the tech side going forward? Uh, is it fair to say more more innovation, more tech? Oh, absolutely. I think uh, you know. Deep tech has always been something which which is very core to us as is innovation, right? So clearly, you know, the future will be a congruence of both of these coming together. Okay. Uh, on ATP, I mean, uh, I know you can't share the numbers, but just to understand, I mean, a, a big size bank, how many users can can actually use? the product and and within the organization is it scalable so let's say you start with 10 users a month is it is it scalable within the same firm and just a broad how many users in a big bank can use it per month basis so so um unfortunately i cannot really uh, we cannot really divulge uh, this name uh, keep us live, but uh, all i can see is one of the largest uh, private banks in india um, we're not allowed to mention that. Um, but definitely, they have one of the. I mean, they have very, very massive uh, user base. So it is not a small bank. Okay. So we have done the POC, which we have announced as part of our um, updates to uh, exchanges earlier. So this is one of the banks, right? So they have, they have, we have done the POC. They have seen the results. Uh, we went back and forth in terms of regulations, right? So they finally said, okay, we we kind of convinced about the impact. 
so that's how they close the commercials. But as I told you, uh, it is purely on subscription basis, um, wherein they have to pay us on monthly basis uh, per, per user per month. Right? You know, that's 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 what the deal is. So yeah, uh, I, I I understand that. So what what I'm trying to understand is within the bank, is it scalable? So let's say you start with ten ten people using yeah, on a subscription basis within the bank. Is it scalable? So, you mean that some bank? Has no, no, it all depends. But for example, if the, if the bank has got, just to take a while, a real estate, they have 1 million users. Okay? They may take for 100% of 1 million users, they may start with 50% of the 1 million users, right? But for these banks, uh, they have taken 100% of the users. Okay? So they have uh, gone, they have, they want to reinvent their entire uh, user base. So, so because they have seen the, uh, uh, the POC results, so they have decided to, uh, reinvent the entire, uh, their, uh, database, the, the entire uh, user base. Okay. So just, just on that, sorry, sir, I'm extending it a bit. Why aren't organizations willing, willingly coming forward to adopt this? I mean, you did mention or uh, share your frustration about the lack of urgency from regulators. What's stopping the organizations or the regulators to push this? That's what we are struggling. We are also struggling to understand that Deepak, we have been working with the various regulators, including RPI, CRAI, CB, and the various regulators. Um, uh, uh, so, so we, we are trying to uh, understand the regulations. We are also trying to navigate the discussion. Um, that's how we could able to close with when we were a large bank, uh, where RBI is governing them like. So, so you know, so they have their own understanding. They have to go to their regulators to get their approval before they go live with the, this, this kind of products, right? So I cannot really discuss in detail like um, uh, why why the regulators are going slow, but we are pretty frustrated, right? But but that's all, that's the beauty of the uh, the platform, right? First couple of one or two deployment, we take a bit of time. Once uh, once the I mean somebody has to. Um, Take the decision, and once you take the decision, I think other other banks and other com um, other entities are going to follow them. Sure, so all, all the best on that. My last question, uh, uh, Arvind, and maybe you can answer this: uh, By when is the VF Middle East uh, Indonesia merger expected? Uh, uh, so, you know, we've we've been kind of getting delayed on it because the regulatory approvals are taking longer, but we are confident to close it in this quarter. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you so much. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Participants, you may press star and one to ask a question. Next question is from the line of Anil Saran from Greenfield Capital. Please go ahead. Good day, uh, Deepa Karvin. Good evening. Congratulations on a good result, which has been in a very adverse environment. Uh, you've been able to maintain margins, and uh, you've been able to most importantly, as, as far as I'm concerned, in, on the 10th of January, the news that you announced was uh, really, really, very, very, very encouraging, which was the first sale of Wisely ATP to one of those three top banks. So uh, I, I have basically three questions. One question is uh, a, 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 a more of a broader question, that for the last multiple quarters, the volume growth of energy has been stopped. Uh, so, when do you see, I mean, what, what are the key reasons behind that? Is it the price hike? Is it the technology change, etc.? And um, how confident are we that we should be able to deliver double-digit volume growth from the coming year onward? That was my first question. Uh, Deepak, you want to give a view on, the, uh, on how the market is playing out? Um, the messaging perspective. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, uh, Anilji. So as as you know, our uh, you know our majority of our uh, you know customers uh, and our volumes uh, come from uh, you know the BFSI uh, sector, and uh, you know so there's a banking and finance sector, and we saw that uh, you know initially we saw a huge growth in volumes because of UPI transactions and. And uh, you know a lot of other volumes were there, but then for the last few months uh, we saw uh, you know 
you know, because the bills were going through the roof and uh, banks have uh, started looking at the volumes, how they can uh, optimize it. Let's say, for example, uh, you know, they looked at, uh, you know, I'm just giving you a few examples so just for you to understand uh, that, hey, you know, there are certain messages which are more than 160 characters. And, uh, you know, so how they can, uh, and if it is more than 160 characters, then you would start for the next, you know, for two messages, you know. So they just wanted to bring it down, you know. So they're going, they're doing their own stuff. They they decided, banks have decided to not to send messages for less than 100 rupees uh, UPI transaction, though RBI very clearly mandates that, you know, you are supposed to send messages on every transaction. But, you know, we saw that uh, some banks have uh, cut down on those. Some, uh, you know, some customers have cut down on, uh, on the promotional spend, uh, you know, for the last six or eight months, which is not just for BFSI, which is for the larger, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, for this for almost for everyone. We also saw uh, this, uh, gaming company. I mean, gaming was another sector which was very big for us, uh, and we saw the gaming companies uh, cutting down on the budgets in a big, big way, uh, primarily because of uh, all those, uh, you know. Uh, the tax issues they they are facing with and GST issues and blah blah blah. So because of that, we saw uh, you know uh, uh, you know some volumes coming down. But uh, you know, but overall, if you see number of transactions are going up, okay, uh, you know all our customers are growing. So uh, I would look at it as a you know uh, it's, it's like a temporary thing. You know, it's you know it you know it is behind us, and uh, we are seeing uh, going forward, we are seeing growth. In fact, even the gaming companies are coming back. Uh, you know, things are getting uh, settled now. Even our, uh, you know, promotional volumes are coming back. We also seeing, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, customers are looking for a better ROI and uh, we are, uh, you know, providing options uh, via WhatsApp and RCS. And, uh, you know, we have onboarded some very large customers on WhatsApp. We have onboarded some very large customers on RCS as well. And uh, we are, uh, you know, our customers are seeing a great, uh, you know, ROI uh, through these channels for for promotion. So, uh, you know, overall, I would say that, you know, uh, you know, things are getting better uh, going forward basis. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Deepak. This is, uh, so, so we, we, we are confident of double-digit volume growth in the coming financial year, fiscal 25. Absolutely. Okay. Fantastic. My second question is more of, uh, you know, data-oriented. Like we have been spending uh, quite a bit on different different products. So, uh, what has been the R and D spend in the third quarter, and what has been the nine month uh, R and D spend? So, the total R and D spend I would say would be about, uh, and I'm talking purely with respect to the platform side, would be about 40 CR over a nine month period. Okay. And we spend on an average about 12 to 14 CR a quarter on R&D. Okay. 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 Uh, my last question is for Uday. Uh, uh, once again, Uday, congratulations on this much-awaited, uh, you know, sale to one of the three top banks. Uh, I'm sure that other banks in the same grouping and even outside the grouping would now feel, uh, you know, more confident about stepping up and all. And also, in particular, uh, you know, you were insisting on subscription base, and you have got the subscription base. So, congratulations once again, because this the quality of revenue uh, uh, is much higher uh, because bank accounts don't get closed; they are always on. And as long as your technology is doing the job, the bank should have no reason to, uh, you know, discontinue your services. In that way, it becomes an annuity income stream. So, which strengthens our company quite well. Uh, my question was, uh, you know, within a ballpark, uh, what, what is the revenue implication of one of these banks, like the one that has already happened and maybe a few others will happen, per bank, how much of ballpark revenue can be achieved? Because we know the number of customers, uh, the, 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 the account holders, and, uh, you know, it, it is per month, and so there are 12 months. So, roughly... Uh, what quantum of revenue is possible from a single, uh, or let's say from this category of uh, widely ATP that that you recently had success with? Yeah, um, and a little, little tricky question, right? So a couple of things, like you know, uh, all I can say at this point of time is uh, um, we have 
some of the POC was up to three crore banks, and one bank uh, went ahead and closed the commercials. Uh, and another bank, what they did was they asked us to do one more POC, uh, which we started uh, probably um, 15 days ago. And this POC is likely to end around uh, 15th or 20th of February. Post that, they should be able to take the call and let's hope for best. That's uh, the first point, right? The second point is um, uh, I cannot really talk about the revenues uh, per, 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 per bank. All I can say is it will definitely add a meaningful impact to our pack. Probably, um, if I have to generalize, uh, each bank should be able to contribute a 10 crores net profit per annum uh, um, uh, uh, in, in terms of pack. That, that is fantastic. And just one follow on today. Uh, you know, this is just a starting uh, bank, and I hope uh, and I'm confident that other banks will also step forward because these three banks are the opinion leaders. They are the biggest brands uh, that we have. Other banks will also then feel encouraged to come. So that's a very uh, happy outcome, which uh, whenever it happens, it will be great. But an even bigger opportunity lies overseas where you can tie up with the telecom companies and we all know that telecom revenue, telecom charges are much higher in other parts of the world compared to what they are in India. So if you can convince the telecom companies outside of India, uh, you know, the revenue per subscriber can be much higher over there, even though the number of subscribers given the small population in other parts of the world, but net net it will still be meaningful. Uh, it would be great if you can throw some light on that opportunity and any initiatives you are taking towards that opportunity. Yeah. Good question, Anil. As I mentioned in my letter, okay, right? So, in fact, most of the, most of the, uh, the uh, neighboring countries, mainly Saudi, um, um, and Singapore, Australia, um, there's the regulator, local regulators, whether it is banking regulator or a telecom regulator, they came out with a so they came out with the, the paper line where we are, uh, uh, in fact, we have given a feedback, which I mentioned is part of my letter. Okay. So we are closely monitoring the, uh, the, 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 the different countries. Okay. Right. So once the regulation is in place, okay, whether it's telcos or, or the banks or any enterprise, they have to adopt this such uh, uh, products. Okay. So we're closely monitoring the, uh, the, the regulations around different countries and we're also uh, helping them uh, to shape up the, the regulations. Uh, that's what I have written. I have, in fact, I have, I have left the, even the links also where we have contributed. It took a lot of time for us to um, uh, um, uh, put a lot of efforts and, and updated their uh, uh, papers. So let's hope, 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 hope for best. Our intent is to go outside India and deploy this platform. But uh, it is more, this platform is mainly driven by the, uh, uh, the regulators. Okay, once the regulators sign out this, uh, the regulations, and it, it will be easier for the, um, any bank or the telcos to adopt this uh, platform. So we need to go step by step. Okay, great, great. And absolutely, the last question. You have been mentioning on Twitter as well as in other uh, public forums that you've been accumulating, you've been adding a lot of top tier talent. Uh, so uh, if uh, if you could, for everybody's benefit, talk about any new products that are in the pipeline, that would be helpful. Um, uh, as you mentioned, like, you know, we, we have, uh, as, as, as uh, Arvin mentioned, like, you know, we are uh, 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 spending, uh, 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 we spent already 40, 45 crores towards CapEx. That all went to towards R and D. Um, you, you, I, I'm not sure whether you have visit, visited our R and D center. That's where we we are trying to work on the platforms, products, and solutions. Like, yes, definitely we will let the market know once once we release these products. Okay, great. Uh, thank you. Th thank you, and wish you all the best. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Next question is from the line of Ram from Excelor. Please go ahead. <laughs> Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yes, well, yes. I just yeah, I just want to understand uh, for the digital platform, what kind of growth are we expecting 
for the next three to four years. Now I see we are taking around 20 plus uh, in terms of cash and consumption retail platform. So can we sustain the same numbers or we can we can have better numbers because we have YP, ATP and more platforms that are coming in. Uh, and also we are focusing more on the digital platform. What kind of growth numbers can we expect in the next three to four years as per the total addressable market, the market potential for this digital platform? So, so, so Ram, uh, uh, um, you know, as, as we covered in earlier discussion, like, you know, uh, we are, uh, uh, we are investing in the platforms. Uh, we see a huge opportunity. We are, we are always off the greenfield opportunity. We are not here to copy someone. We are not here to re and replace any of the platforms. We always look for greenfield opportunities. Um, so we have been building the, the platforms for quite some time. We see a lot of opportunity here. So uh, to answer your question is, yeah, of course, like you know, unless and you go 20, there is no reason for us to put in so much of effort in terms of the energies as well as the uh, uh, money, right? So we, we we should able to grow. We should able to uh, grow uh, 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 minimum 20 percent. There is no doubt about that. Oh, yeah, that's all. My the other questions I got uh, answered uh, from the questions of the base. Thank okay. you. Thank, Thank you very much. I will now have the conference over to Ms. Rito Mehta for closing comments. Thank you, everyone. That was the last question for the day. In case we could not take your questions due to time constraints, please reach out to Investor Relations Team. Good evening. Thank you very much. On behalf of Tanla Platforms Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us. You may now disconnect your lines. Thank you.